This is Dr. Josina Agnieszka Szywornia. This component of part two of my lectures based on my book will be dedicated to resolution of pursuit of ideal sexual life partner presented as one option in wedding vows and alongside that person work to enable ideal sexuality that when there's safety and goods sufficient to provide for one another and children in pleasure impedes other activities and in wanted way for each and every couple that I have addressed already versus having realization of a person that in reciprocity is that ideal partner and having then wanted in pleasure that is sense of pleasure that decides on it for two waiving the right to pursue physical sexual relationship and children knowing that there is on death meaning if one dies that is the only option to actually uh, pursue even as an option uh, someone else and realization that this is the person that one wants to uh, normally have children based on that basic instinct assumption role of a humanist for two as superior in faith of greater mission or greater uh, love for a deity that that person is equal to but that in mutual religion and mutual pursuit of celibate absolute celibate or absolutely celibate work the two want to in fidelity that is assumed and forced by that on death sex so if i would pursue another person i would be in pain or fall apart because you are ideal and that is reciprocal to me or for me and that is then sense of having wanted loss because that gives uh, a rise to personal goodness of self and of that person superior to all others that have wanted as most uh, greatest outcome same option as well as option to pursue uh, families and life as families and as a uh, unit sexual ones based on that uh, basic instinct and pleasure and self prefers to the same as that other person wave that right to assume a role of superior in absolute celibacy attitude waving off sexual perceptions that no longer occur because of that wanted sacrifice that is presented in a ceremonies of taking vows absolute vows in um, monks and nuns in catholic church for instance when that person to celebrate christ uh, martyrship lies on the ground in a crow uh, in a cross position with extended arms and in sense of deep profound devotion of all that one is to celib absolute celibacy in life in god a feeling that when it is source of personal satisfaction becomes granted and respected by all living and, and dead beings and that it has to be mutual second similar a um, state derived from that waving so granting one another the right to pursue such option as better as opposed to not being able to find ideal partner in frustration which i hope part one results 
or having such partner and uh, in a non-reciprocal way sacrificing that partner when that partner is feel, feels resentful that leads to hatred and, and pursuit for non-sexual relationship impeded as such and no children having awareness that other person that the other one was maximal that the person sacrificed her or him uh, leading to lifelong celibacy of that person not wanted one which is present often in descriptions of Buddha and Yosudara. I did a little bit of reading about this. There is a book in Sunny Valley uh, when I went to take classes in uh, uh, Zen uh, tradition in Buddhism that is uh, for me in many ways preferred because of inclusion as uh, the smallest one of us, uh, all of creatures, and no longer pursuit of a, a that. Um, limited life uh, offering death uh, at expense of other creatures that the bible offers in insufficient explanation because buddha was in touch and also those uh, assets with jesus and uh, the uh, uh, explanations are accurate just not fully developed and understood con contextually and so that is a realization of limitless life and life in which for to devotion to selfless work for each or devotion to self development in meditation and prayers to promote harmony in such states bringing just by own presence compassion and love towards others acceptance towards others forgiveness when those others fail and when they need it when pursuit that the only teachings that are missing and that requires having that partner on the same exact path and giving such an emotional state in presence as vow to one another combined vow to dedicate self to motivated by deeper sense of morality and sense worth than the one divided in two uh, each and have that person also do the same in non-resentment anymore non-wanting on children anymore because then that leads to what's in buddhism called arhatship meaning a perception of self non-variated one unless one assumes the role of someone else of being asexual despite full mature adulthood gender specific characteristics and that state is stable non-conditioned by presence or absence or others of others after that ideal partner is actually waived in a mutual ceremony and those persons assume together a role of cel absolute celibates and so then professions derived from that become in no way extension of provision for own family or self as empowering uh, in well-being and in capacities to provide for family so work has much easier dimension of continuity and is non-expression in any way of gender specific pursuit of love uh, sexual relationship or approval of having such by uh, others in uh, uh, in such work and that is again to have that partner identified uh, that partner attesting to such in confidence and then having that relationship culminate in respective vows of celibacy derived and described are as compassionate somebody and it is a video on non-conditional love which is love for all and every single person in sense of superiority because of the degree of personal sacrifice and offered the light as 
the sole source of such doing in not having family the light offered a sense of per enhanced sense of personal goodness for uh, the two of those persons in no conditioned way meaning forever also non-conditioned by approval or disapproval or pot of potential suitors or maidens or such aspiration by others by not uh, knowing about such existing possibility and that is then no need for painful or restrictive type of restraining on sexuality or sexuality of others because the person each actually has no capacity for one another anymore or for others for more than love that is on a higher ascending intensity compatible in love of universe and deity or god or buddha or uh, others universe in harmony in the mm -hmm. for instance and that is expressed in the non-suffering of self alive and body is source of meditation prayer the self care because of being sacred perception of being sacred in that uh, sec asexual celibacy and there are two ways to achieve it that is one healthy way to achieve it second one sometimes impossible to remedy is when we meet a person who does not correspond in sexual and uh, loving relationship to same goals because of presence of other persons or because of sense of um, higher goal and harmed us in many uh, cases leading first to a sense of degradation a sense of being inferior or a failure resulting often in also described in bible revelations of uh, god's existence in such conversations or in such realizations that are impossible to question and from the shift in self to love that a source has personal suffering that became in compassion utmost compassion alleviated by perception of being loved non-conditionally by higher power and in such way reciprocated just because of being loved and in restoration of faith and that results in the pursuit of a religious path, the realization of existence of such nature for e ever in, in realization of the physical bodies and eternal life. And Jesus' uh, well, resuscitation is a proof of that, the same as nine immortals and other you know, actually uh, physicians and uh, as well as the uh, practitioners of medicine, uh, integral inner and outer medicine. And that is, uh, again, in non-harm, because altruism and such love cannot be that at least uh, the self derives a sense of hurt impossible to remediate by pursuit of a relationship, a sexual one action wanted by the other person. When that relationship is actually de facto by to not wanted, then that results in the empowerment, knowing that there cannot be physically and mentally anyone else in continuum life and post-mortem in service or selfless work where work has sole purpose of serving, serving others in a non-alleviation of other person's effort and in no couple dynamic, but only derived from work social roles. And second characteristic of that is that work is optional for as long as it's needed and can be delegated and in dignity and sacredness also delegated to deity. And so when that work is no longer a source of own dignity waived for sake of um, happenings to others and self then can dedicate life in empty mind to prayer and meditation and pursuit of that state of arhatship as a fact 
all the time by stre strong sense of self-identity in no harm. 